So hi guys, and yes, there are no mistakes in the title, and I understand that you need some explanation before watching the video. I showed the video a year ago, and uh, I forgot to post it. Yeah. And because this year I also recorded a video about Black Friday shopping on Killstar, I decided to post them together. I absolutely understand that fast all items that I'm showing in this video are already sold out, but probably you would have some fun. What was actually interesting for me is that how I speak in both videos. <laughs> in the first one I'm kinda nervous, I'm trying to make everything perfect, I'm trying to speak perfectly. Perfectly? And in the second one I'm much more relaxed and I'm much more spontaneous and I like it. Probably that's because of TikTok. So yep, <laughs> now you know, thank you a lot in advance for watching. Merry Christmas, you guys, and Happy New Year! Mwah. Time codes in the description if you are in hurry. Shortly to say, I'm making this video because some of you are searching for the exactly items and I totally understand you. Please find your time code, take a look at your wish and run on. And if you have any questions about the items I've shown you today, about the fitting, about the material, etc., feel free to ask in comments. And this person used to call herself a minimalist. Uh, 2020 was hard for all of us. So, hello! I don't know how did that happen. No, actually, of course, I know. Uh, let me explain. I'm not a fan of regular shopping activity. I prefer to shop once, twice a year and forget about it for a long time. Of course, occasionally I can buy something very spontaneously, but in 99% of situation I write down uh, my wishes in a list and wait for the perfect time for it. For example, Black Friday sale. So, without long introductions, my total sum for the Black Friday shopping was about 500 pounds. I understand that in some luxurious shops one bag could cost five times more expensive. But we're here for an affordable gothic fast fashion, aren't we? So you can see how much stuff I got for this price this time. Last two small parcels arrived just yesterday. My room looked like a warehouse with it on the floor for some time. And I like to live in order and I deadly want to use and wear all the stuff I've ordered. So let's start. And if you are still wondering why I've placed five separated orders instead of a big one, you have to check my previous videos where I'm talking about shopping on Killstar life hacks. Things change quickly and some advices are already changed after a couple of months after posting, but most of them are still useful. And in this video I'll make close-ups for everything, not try-ons, because I want to edit and post it as soon as possible. Yes, Xenia, you promised to post it as soon as possible. What the fuck? Because posting videos with stuff which is sold out is just useless. And I don't want this video to be an hour-long one. I'll better make an... No, you didn't. Another one just for try-ons, but in this one I promise to include a lot of close-ups to show you the details and textures. That's why I personally watch videos like I'm filming right now. Not for the styling, but for leave and real reviews. Tactical sensations are very important for me and, as I said before, I don't like offline shopping. And just several small advertising photos on the official website are not enough for me. Let's start with big stuff and it's death row biker jacket. Actually, two of them. It's from men's section and I know that they had a female jacket with same spider webs on sleeves, but I really wanted a straight and long design of the jacket, not the fitted one. I decided to order it in S size. And when the first parcel came, very fast, in a week or so, I understood that it's too big even for good oversized fitting. Shoulders were out of place and sleeves were too long, again, even for oversized. It was just very uncomfortable, so I immediately ordered an XS one because it was too still available on the Black Friday sale. I absolutely adore everything about the details. The stitchers on the sleeves, tiny beds on buttons and this little coffin on a zip. The inside part is very well made. The outside material somehow feels more like mud sweat than flat leather how it looks like. I don't know how to explain it. It's different from my other Killstar jacket material. But even with excess now I'm not pretty happy with the fitting because again it's for wider shoulders, for men type figure and my body type is a beer. So this one definitely sorry goodbye. This one I will try Try to figure it out how to wear, I will leave it for now. And same story here, same model, different sizes and damn shoes, draconian platforms. I fell in love with these boots as soon as they appeared. Of course, the smallest sizes are often unsold to the last and brands could offer a bigger discount just to change the collection. So finally, I'm a lucky here. And I can see same thing with the hugest sizes, so I'm waving to all the people from those sides. I'm also not a high person, so everything with heels and platforms helped me a lot on events. <laughs> 2020, hello. Don't know where I can go in them now, but it's for the future. And I'm those person a lot of you probably hate when you see an extremely huge discount on the shoes you wanted. And you click on them, and there's only size UK3. And that's me. Yes, I buy a lot of shoes in children's stores. Most of them are ugly, but very comfortable, and often twice cheap. So I'm very happy that Killstar thinks about Cinderella's like me. 
Probably a lot of you know that Killstar shoe size chart is a disaster. All people I've spoken to agreed that it's just a roulette. I have two UK4 pairs of sneakers, which are too loose. One pair is still wearable only with a thick insole, but one just sold it immediately, impossibly big. One pair of boots which are perfect and one which I still can't fit in, but it's very tight, again, all in size UK4, so I didn't know what to expect. My foot length is 23 and a half centimeters. The size chart for some reason doesn't have measurements in centimeters, only comparison between US, UK and Euro sizes. But okay, now you can base on this information. So what about these boots? UK4 pair is a little bit wide and I feel that my feet slide down a little bit in them. That's why I feel pressure on a big toe, but I need to remind they are super soft. The sole itself is very comfortable. It's not like in cheap AliExpress Gothic boots. It's anatomical and soft. So I suppose I will leave UK3. So let's continue with boots. Charmed cut out boots. Oh my god, this is what I call perfection. I dreamed about them since Killstar released them online. The platform is not so flat as for example in sneakers and the heel is just maybe two or three centimeters higher than the platform itself. It's very stable, it doesn't narrow down, they are both feminine and brutal, open and covered. They are good fixed on an ankle. Actually I think I will keep them both. Can wear UK4 one with funny socks and UK3 barefoot. Or maybe set one pair aside for a couple of years because I'm pretty consistent. So just will wear them out one by one. I was also super scared about the size. I really wanted them and the same situation here. I can wear both, but for some reason UK4 is more comfortable here. Despite the material is thinner, just one layer, and the previous boot were more thick and multi-layered, so kinda kill star size chart magic. Okay, what do we have next? Shoes again! But here I have just one pair, subversion platforms, in UK4 size. Also super cheap for Black Friday, yeah. I adore these metal details. You probably know where a similar design was previously made by Demonia and the series called Swing and Torment. I'm talking about these metal things. I already have Demonia Torment in PVC, but who can stop me from buying more and more fetish? You see this front rounding? It's good for maybe pole dancing, but not for walking. You always feel that you can fall forward, but for shootings or not very active parties, maybe probably could work. Also, it fits tightly on the ankle, which makes them more stable. I would say it's more metalhead looking boots than classical goth, but that's exactly what I was looking for. But about gothic boots, can't say what's more gothic than these beauties. Wicked web platforms. Can we have a moment of silent admiration, please? Absolutely impractical, but who cares? Just a piece of fetish art, thin shiny webs on your feet and a smooth lace around your ankle. I got them in UK3 for goddamn 20 pounds. Uh, th this is ridiculous, they was every of it. So we're done with boots, but let's continue with fetish stuff. And here we have these Vision 6 cap. I like how good it was packed. The material is very shiny and it's easy to get scratched. They pull a lot of paper over it for protection. The details amazing. Studs, chain, pentagram. Sounds super classic, but what confused me? The size. It's a little bit disproportional for me. I feel that it's bigger than a classic military cap. But of course, I think it's special exaggerated. In one of the previous collections, they had an another one cap, also made of PVC in a more realistic size. My friend has one, but it was too soft and didn't keep a shape. So, if we can combine the best from both caps. The perfect one would be so hard and shaped as this one, but in the size like those one. That's how the perfect cap for me would look like. Maybe we will see something like that in the future and I will definitely get one more if that will happen. And for the total look I got the Army of Darkness dress with nice military details. I like that it's not super short. Again, I'm as a peer not a fan of mini dresses. It looks more like midi to me. But as you maybe didn't put attention to, sleeves are extra long so your hand would be half covered. The tie is removable as on men's shorts they have, so you can use it as an individual accessory. And to the neck accessories. This one is Divine Choker. I'm not a fan of collars, but I really love neck corsets. If you didn't know, I'm a corset maker and I see you neck corsets too. You can check my works on Instagram, I will attach the link. But a true real long neck corset is a fetish accessory and it has bones. And you can't move your head freely without fanatism, but still. And this baby looks like a nice alternative if you want something to look massive on your neck, but still wearable. It's a one triangle piece with straps. Just super simple. No boning channels and tight fitting. Details are also amazing. I love this one very much. I will definitely try to make something like this myself in different stylistic looks very simple. And about other variants for neck decorations. Beauty her layer is it called. It's very massive. All the chains have different thickness, also crosses are different. That makes the whole look more complex and detailed. They had a similar looking belt, but it's already sold out. This one is awesome. It makes the whole look finished. You can combine it not just with fancy gothic clothes, but also with very basic stuff too. And about basic stuff. I ordered a very simple ritual hoodie. Just a basic one. Now there is only the cult ritual hoodie available. I suppose it's the same 
same but with a full black shiny print. But I wanted exactly a simple one. I have a same form hoodie with a huge skeleton, which was called Morgue hoodie. And it's super practical. It's warm, it's free enough. So this one is even better because it's more minimalistic and could be combined with so many other stuff. And also about the base. I wanted a fancy sweater with holes from Killstar for years, but all of them were with stripes, black and red, purple, green. I wanted a total black one. And here it is. Perfect for photo sets, perfect for living, but I'm not very pleased with the smell. The fabric actually is kind of enjoyable to touch. It doesn't feel very synthetic. And one more tunic. Not as a base, but for fun. It's not your crotchy tunic, it's called. It looks very funny and this one you would have to suffer a little bit for because it looks more impressive when your skin is seen, but of course with the fit jumper also cool. The weave looks partly like true spider webs, but partly like granny's knitted napkins, but why not? The whole looks is wretched anyway. I like it. Time for dresses. I wanted to buy something very elegant, long, with Elvira wipes, so I picked these two. The first one is called Witching Hour Maxi Dress, and ow, oh, these cascading sleeves. The lace is good, it's very tender, not those cheap, hard and prickly ones. Very soft and elastic. For me it has a very romantic, sensual, feminine vibe. If if you're gonna date your metalhead or tomboy and go to a nice cemetery walk and want to make them fall in love to death, that's the vibe. And the second one, Lavina Maxi Dress. This is for the second date. Fast similar but even more soft and with lower neckline and open back. The fabric is so thin, actually you can't wear it with the lingerie. So yep, a very special one, not an everyday dress. Okay, let's go back to the reality. Glamour gold pencil dress. It's very thin and half transparent material, so choose a proper lingerie or pastis, depending on the situation and desires of the result, of course. The skirt fabric is very flat and elastic, and not barbed at all. Let's combine these ones. It's important to pick glasses which match your face shape and improves your beauty, not overlap. I picked for myself Enchantra because of its unearthly beauty, of course, but I predict it's not my type, not my form. At least they are too bulky. Even here my head is not so big. I've tried another one from Killstar 2, but also big sunglasses are good for its main purpose, to hide your eyes from sun. But there is not person behind it, like no face, just glasses. But on the other hand, if that's the goal you don't want to put your makeup on or you're in a bad mood or you don't want want to be seen, that's the solution. I personally prefer small and elegant daily glasses. I have poor eyesight, okay? Seems that it works for sunglasses too. So that's why my friend was more provident and picked Drusilia. This form is more like cat eye form, but I feel myself not like a kitty but like a dragonfly. Because of this half cut form, the plastic top part is more active and pulls my face to sides. So not my cup of tea actually. But if you like the form, details are amazing. These little pentagrams so nice. I'm too picky today. I understand that if, for example, I got just these glasses, like single item and that's it, probably I would react another way. But today we have a huge and honest haul. And here we comes to another type of accessories for your beautiful face. It's a headdress, also it could be called as hairpiece. This one is called Hyde Priestess. This style comes from Indian Tikka, if you want to find more of these things on the internet but didn't know how is it called. Tikka. I absolutely love this type of jewelries. I like weird and little known things. I'm from a... <laughs> I'm from Russia, actually, and we have Kakoshnik, but not only Kakoshnik. Just a minute of your time, please. We also have Achelia. This is a wide beaded band which covers your forehead with long and big elements near your ears, like earrings, but not actually. So now you know, could be an inspiration for a fresh and unique look. Coffin break mug. I was so tired placing those orders, so I occasionally ordered two instead of one. Not especially as with jackets or boots, just an example for you, why you shouldn't be hasty. This cap is very big and heavy, but I'm not sure about the comfort, because I know from experience that it's very easy to pour over and get burned while drinking from such free cups. Or again, maybe I'm just a clumsy person. The design is anyway so cool, I like everything coffin shaped. And what I think about everyday aesthetic. It's very important, especially in lockdown. So that's why I ordered some fancy panties and bras. Nobody would see it, but I still love it. Tourniquet bra and tourniquet panties. What I already see from here that it's kind of small for me because the bone is very round. But the measurements was actually mine. It has a lot of straps and looks very unique, but I'm still not sure about the size. The bra has a small attached choker, but the cups, mm, it was marked as S, but probably it's XS actually. My size is 75B and this is something like 70A probably. So now you know, S size is an XS size. But the design is actually very nice. I love the straps and this thin mesh. But the panties are actually very nice. Russian winter is cold, so I decided that I need something that would warm my soul. Second moment of silent admiration, please. It's
it's very hard to find really unique stockings these are extremely thin with super soft velvet patterns on it and the last one i'm not kidding it's the best this is everything i wasn't sure that i needed it but you see this is super adorable i'm a cat mother of six so i definitely would buy other designs too some of my babies are slim some very body positive this one is m size and for my skinny pups it's big and for the fattiest it's kind of tight so i also would experiment with sizes Whew, i don't believe we're done we have been recording this for a whole three hours actually thank you guys a lot for watching please support me with your like and subscribe and till the next video bye у кота очень недовольный ебал.